As you know, your chart is based upon existing worksheet data. This chart right here on my screen is based upon the data that you see over here on the worksheet. Each of the North Division, Southwest Division, and West Division sales is really a sum function that's summing up the above worksheet data. So if I were to change any one of my total sales figures here, let's say that I want to make this $10,000. I'll go ahead and enter that and notice that down here on my chart this new value which is increased from a figure of around 6,000 to 16 is now also reflected over here in my chart because this chart is linked to the worksheet data any changes in the worksheet to that data will be reflected in your chart another nice feature that you can use when working with charts is you can switch the row and column series so notice that on this chart I have sales in my legend in North Division, Southwest Division, and West Division down here on my X axis. If I wanted to change the way the columns and rows are interpreted for my data series, I can do that by coming up here to Chart Tools, selecting the Design tab, and notice that I have a switch row and column. If I select that, I will switch the row and column that the chart is based upon, and notice that now my legend is showing the North Division, Southwest Division, and West Division division instead of just sales and the sales are reflected down here I have switched the row and column that is used in the data series that's plotted here in our chart you can also switch the data that the chart is based upon to do that again you must have your chart active on your screen and then through the design tab of the chart tools you want to go to the data group and in the data group you have the select data command when you select that by clicking it once it will open up a dialog box that will allow you to change your data. You can come over here to the collapse and uncollapse button, cause your dialog box to collapse, and then you can redesignate what you want your chart data to be based on. So let's say I maybe I want it to now reflect the minimum sales, maximum sales, and average sale. I could come down here, highlight this data when I have indicated it, come back up to my dialog box, uncollapse the dialog box, and then click OK. And notice that now my chart reflects the new data that I've indicated over here. Nice feature for quick fixes or to completely recreate a chart. Let's go ahead and apply some of this to our project. I'd like you to open up your sales monthly workbook or if you'd like to open a file that reflects the development of this course up to this point from your Excel 2007 course folder please open up from the chapter 10 folder 1006 start file when you open this up you will see that this is our sales monthly worksheet and notice here is week one all the way through to monthly sales as well as we created a chart that is embedded into its own worksheet previously in this chapter. Let's go to that worksheet that contains your chart. It should be generically named chart 1 or chart 2 based on how many times you've applied that. But go ahead and select the chart and what we are going to do is we are going to change the data that this chart is based upon. So with this chart selected come up to your design tab in your chart tools select that and then come over here to the data group and choose the select data command. This will cause the select data source dialog box to appear. We are going to plot how our unit price compares to our sales price instead of looking at our profit on a weekly basis. So let's collapse this dialog box by selecting the collapse and uncollapse button and then go ahead and click anywhere in your chart to turn off the two marquees that you see displayed and then come over here to column A on your week one worksheet and at A7 click and drag and highlight all of the product list information in column A. That would be from A7 down to A36. Then scroll back up to the top so you can see your data. Hold down the control key on your keyboard and in the unit dollar sign field 
click at C7 with your control key down and drag all the way down to C36. And finally, we'll do one more column here. Let's do the sales price of our product list. So at E7, hold down your control key and then click with your mouse and drag all the way down to E36. So you should have the following three columns marqueed on your screen. The product column, the unit dollar sign column, and the sales dollar sign column. With those selected, come back up to the Select Data Source dialog box. Choose the Collapse and Uncollapse command so that extends down and then say OK. And notice that our chart now changes and reflects the new information that we designated in our week one worksheet. With these changes made to our chart, please save your file and move on to the next movie.